All right, last time we shaded our fruits. We practiced shading with our ebony pencil and our finger. Now we're going to work on shading a bottle. So again, we need our ebony pencil, our eraser, and our paper to help us not make a big mess. So let's just shade one bottle. We've got two here, but that one I didn't erase my guidelines, so we'll worry about this guy up here. Look at this bottle. What do you notice about it? Mm. Well, for one thing, it's clear. I can see right through it. So, when I shade my bottle, it's going to be kind of tricky. You have to take into account the things that are reflected in it. So, if you see, there's this shape of my paper because my paper is reflected. And the things you can see through it. I can see the orange through it now. Hello, orange. Now, if it's just sitting on the table, all it's going to reflect is the table, which isn't such a big deal. So we're going to try our best with this. This is really tough, and lots of people have trouble with shading bottles, and lots of adults even. So don't worry about it if you're having trouble. What I'm going to do is check for dark spots and light spots. So right now I see this side is very dark. So I'll just rough that in there. This is kind of a square rough spot. It's got some little white patches in it, too. So I'm going to kind of outline that spot and lightly color it in. See down here is a dark spot. Um, down there. I'm just overlapping these dark colors, going what spots are dark, what spots are light. I've got some basic dark and light spots. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rub them in. Going for smooth shading here. If I was to use the... Sidewall, please buzz in, Mr. Sidewall. <laughs> Sorry about that. If I was to use the lines as my shading, that would be called cross-hatching, which is an okay use of shading, but for our ebony pencil, it's a little bit easier to shade with our fingers. So I'm getting some good dark and light spots in here. If you're not sure exactly, you could ask me. Or you can just try it out and we can always go back and erase some. If your spot's not light enough, not dark enough, whatever. There we go. So, just kind of follow along with what shapes you see. Imagine that this isn't even a bottle, it's just like a picture of something you need to copy. So, look at the shapes. And then go and copy in those shapes. Kind of think, take a snapshot with your brain and think, okay, I just need to copy these shapes then do it. Bottles are going to have a shadow like the fruit did. So check out where your shadow is. The shadow is probably going to be very long but it's going to get diffused and not as dark so you just kind of you just kind of draw it in and then smudge it out with your finger and let it kind of disappear as it goes out. Okay guys, have fun. I know this is challenging. We're going to try for realism first and then you guys are going to get to do a wacky one. So, good luck. <laughs>